Yu-Gi-Oh! as a game has sped up a lot in the past few years, and some methods of play just aren't the most optimal anymore. We've seen one-card XC summons and cards that can cheat out summoning negating fusion monsters from the extra deck simply by being milled, and this all happens without losing even an iota of card advantage. So that all being said, let's address the elephant in the room. Rituals. Rituals are a fairly standard concept. Tribute monsters whose levels equal up to a ritual monster and summon that monster. It's a pretty neat concept to introduce so early in the game's life, but not as much when it gets outpaced by basically everything around it. I blame Kit Kalos, personally. There have been a few archetypes and cards that have attempted to make cheating out rituals easier, and while Drytron in particular saw a great amount of meta success in 2021, you'd be hard-pressed to find a competitive player rocking a Drytron deck in the current meta, where having a light monster in your graveyard is tantamount to a death sentence. This leads me to my next point. What if we could play a ritual deck that didn't feel like trudging through mud in a dump truck? What if we could simply look at current meta decks and just say no? Well, we're gonna try to do that today. On today's VTuber vs. Viewer, we'll be rocking Makanko Libromancer. Makanko was released just recently in Amazing Defenders, which had the honor of being the first Yu-Gi-Oh set to sell a negative amount, and as a ritual archetype, it pairs quite well with the emergency teleportable Libromancers. It's incredibly simple to barf two Omni Negates onto the field in less than five summons, and has plenty of ways to recur resources. But how, Noah Jank, you sexy son of a bitch? I hear you ask. Well, fret not, as I will show you. What's now. good, everybody? We are here with another episode of VTuber vs. Viewer, and we're going to be rocking Mikanko Mancer, as I brought up in the intro. Honestly, I think this deck is pretty damn cool. I cannot lie. Throw in the fun of Mikanko with the fun of Libromancer. Add in a little bit of spice with your Bistuls. Add in a little bit of support with your Diviners. And you get something real good going, man. You get something real fun. This is a deck that I think is really, really enjoyable. And just to protect yourself, you know, add the Bistuls in there. Because you don't want to get tiered. You don't want to get epically tiered at your locals. It's going to happen regardless. But, you know, you want to keep that support in. Which is why we're running three uh, Bistuls right now. With the introduction of Photon Hypernova. Uh, you could honestly replace the Druus Worms with uh, Baldrakes, and that would probably be ideal. But because Druus Worm is, like, not only the best search off Magnemut right now, but also has a pretty darn good effect in its own right, and also has, we're also running two rank sixes right here, um, just to be able to do that. Yeah, I think Druus Worm is probably fine for the list, though I would advise, uh, once it is legal, playing Baldrake instead. For the Libromancer core, we are running the basic stuff. Uh, three first appearance. The field spell is very good. You want to get the search on as soon as possible, which is why we're also running a Terraforming. We are running three fires because I think he's extremely important and two Geek Boys. I'm not a big fan of seeing Geek Boy in the opening hand just because we have so many ways of opening up the field spell um, with running three of and also going to terraforming. Um, but Geek Boy is itself not a bad card in the slightest, just to me, not as important as getting the search for Doom Broker, which is why I am running the three fire instead. Uh, I think fire is probably going to be the much more important card in the long run. Um, so that is kind of the logic I have going there. And of course, Doom Broker is searching out the Omni Negate in Intervention. Then we have three e tellies If we open that, then it's just GG Easy because this uh, automatically brings out our Geek Boy, which again is why we're only really running two. Uh, it's fine. Like you really only need two Geek Boys to be honest with you. And that's basically the Libromancer core. So the Makanko core is pretty interesting in itself. We're really only running Ohime here uh, because Ohime is the boss of the deck. Uh, we get to run a quick effect snatch deal with inviting uh, Rondo of the Makonko. That's the OCG name, excuse me. Makonko Reflection Rondo is actually what it's called. Thank you very much. A great Makonko Ceremony is a great way to be able to cheat out uh, Mikanko uh, of the Ohime over here um, from the grave. Uh, all that good stuff from the hand, excuse me, not from the grave. Yeah. I've read this deck before. You can tell I practiced this. Diviner of the Herald, normal summon this. Send Herald of the Arclight. Go ahead and grab yourself a Makanko. And hey, would you guess what? Guess what you can search out with Ben 10 if you tribute it to tribute summon or ritual summon a Doom Broker or otherwise? You can search out a Ohime, the manifested Mikanko, because it is a light fairy. That is right. 
That's some great synergy you have right there. So running three Ben 10, I think, is absolutely necessary. Uh, not just for getting other rituals, but also just being able to search out the Makanko is great synergy that the deck has. We are also rocking three Imperm because I think Imperm is a very effective hand trap in this format uh, going forwards. Uh, I do kind of value board breakers right now more so than interruption, but you know, that's neither here nor there. Imperm is always going to be a classic and just having that on the field ready to go, uh, even just to have that interruption, but also just starting up your turn going second, bam, play that Imperm. Hey, guess what? That effect's negated now. You can't block off my monster zones with your stupid ass Shangri-La. Get out of here with that. Get out of here. None of that shit. Get out of here. So honestly, um, with the playtesting I've done with this deck, it is very consistent. The only thing that I'm not as familiar with going into this, and I will admit this right now, is the Mikanko core. So that is going to be a really, really fun way to practice today. Honestly, feeling like it could work pretty well, though. So we're going to be going into today's duels with Libromancer, which I am familiar with, and Mikanko, which I'm definitely not as familiar with, and a hell of a lot of Bistrals, baby. So that is what we are going into today with VTuber versus viewer Mikanko Mancer. Let's get right into the duels. Do we want to fire off the Ohime here? I'm assuming we have a Barone here, and I really don't like that. So I think we're gonna go ahead and fire off the Makanko here. Uh, we will take you. Or not, actually. Wait, what? Oh, it's because I don't control Ohime. Only while I control Makanko Sage. Listen, th in theory, I'm a good deck builder. In theory, I well, in theory, I'm a great deck builder. Now, being a good player that can utilize that deck is a very different thing altogether. Otherwise, just be a snatch show. Yeah, but that'd be sick, though. You read that like 15 seconds ago? Well, I forgot, okay, chat? I forgot. It is e for Alistair. I guess so, huh? What are you discarding? Yeah, no you don't, idiot. Ha ha, ha, you thought my Baldrake, ha, get bodied, idiot, ha. Oh, I may have miscalculated there. Oh, Jesus God. Oh, we're using it now. Oh shit, okay. Um, sure, yeah, I mean, that's good. Oh, that is so big brained. Wow. Because Mirror Jade does send a fusion for cost. So having Lindworm negate that is really good. And we get to have the branded and red access for free on the next turn due to Cartesia being in the grave. Cartesia is so good. Rip. Jesus, this is such a strong deck, man. Wow. Branded is only gonna get better, which is scary. That might be the- WHY DID I PRESS NO! NO! Oh, fuck me! Alright, whatever. Sure, man. I'm actually mad, bro. What a simulator moment that is, bro. What a- that's straight up a simulator moment, bro. No. No, 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 no! 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 No, 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 no! Wait, 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 no, no, no! Why did you have double summon off the top? Who the fuck is playing double summon? No, 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 it's not, it's not happening, it's not happening. No, 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 no. Don't you laugh at me. No, this isn't real. No, this isn't real. Don't throw things at me either, damn it! I'm having a hard time right now. No, 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 no. No, it's not happening. It's not happening. You don't have it. 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 No, 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 no. I mean, you can gain all the life points you want. I have not seen a cannon soldier yet. There's no cannon soldier. Oh God, you didn't use enough. You didn't use enough materials to draw. No, you didn't use enough materials. You didn't use enough. You didn't use enough. You didn't use enough. You didn't use enough to draw. Objective: survive. Wait, 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 wait. There's no way. There's no way. There's literally no way to do this. There's no cannon soldier. We're just summoning. That's all we're doing here. No, it's not. Well, it's not. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can't OTK me. Yep, no OTK. Damage is halved. Damage is halved because of prosperity.
or not? Why is it not halved? Oh, it's because he attacked himself. I win the die roll because I'm the best. Uh, add Geek Boy. Geek Boy. Add the field spell. First appearance. Nice hand. And honestly, it's a pretty nice hand, to be honest. All memes aside, it was a pretty good hand. What a game that was. What a game that was. Uh, summon Doom Broker by tributing Benson. Ben 10 effect to add the Diviner. Doom Broker, add the Omni Negate. Normal the Diviner. Hey, at Noah Jink, I go to do on you. But shit happens and life goes on. Uh, sorry to hear that uh, you couldn't make it this week for the dueling, but I appreciate you coming by and donating anyway, and we'll make sure that you skip the line next week. All right, so the Baldrake. Uh, cheat out the Makanko. Uh, banish Ceremony to send the Snatch Steel. Yeah, fuck it, we'll make IP here, why not? Magnemut to add during the end phase. And then make IP. Now that is an end field right there. Look at that, chat. Look at that end field right there. Look at that end field. That is strong. That is what we want to see from Mikanko Mancer. Alibur? Yeah, I hear you. That ain't happening. Two negates, a steel, and a unicorn. Egg, exactly, my friend, exactly. No way. And we'll add the Geek Boy. Ooh, we're going so plus right now. This is the perfect game to show off how good Mikanko Mancer can be. Congratulations, you added yourself. I really did, to be honest. Makanko comes back. I love bricking. Skill issue. We will pop. Uh, Paradise Lost over here. Uh, we will just go ahead and summon the Diviner. Uh, there's not really a lot of point in doing this, so we're just not going to. But what we are going to do is make Elf. Elf Diviner. We could summon out the Geek Boy here. That's what you get for not reading the Makanko. Nice. Nice? Rabbit, thank you for the 20 bits. How nice of you. Uh, because of those 20 bits, actually, um, we're going to go ahead and give that to um, Jom Jom Jom. So, Jom Jom, if you have a list, uh, we'll go ahead and put you up next, buddy, because of Rabbit's uh, generous donation there with the biddies. Thank you, Baldrake, for being good. And we're ending on a single Beatrice here. Not the best thing in the world, but also not the worst thing in the world. Uh, go ahead and uh, do this now while we can. Uh, detaching Toju, Choju for cost. What are we sending here? Sending Delta. Okay, sure. Uh, that's fine. We are going to go ahead and activate Prep. We'll add Makanko here, I think. Uh, now we will Makanko add... Ceremony. You know what? This is kind of weird. We'll discard Prosp here. We actually don't really need Prosp right now. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and cheat out the Makanko from the hand. Uh, banish Ceremony. And get the Equip. Uh, we'll Magnemite here. Banish your Delta. We'll activate Magnemite Effect. Not getting Ashed. Very nice. Uh, I think we go ahead and steal Beatrice here. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, so are we looking at 50, 75? Oh, actually, we can definitely get shit here. Um, yeah, we can actually keep extending. So we'll make Wallow here. Uh, effect of Wallow. Targeting. Oh, wow, I got my pick of the damn litter here, don't I, Chad? Damn. I guess this is this is kind of tied for attack, isn't it? We'll bring out the Mu Beta Fafnir, why not? 
All right, I think that's gonna be lethal, right? Because 64, 74, yeah, it's lethal. A. A. There we go. That's what we like to see, Chad, is it not? Is that not what we like to see here? GG's, Dark. GG's, buddy. That's fine. A Dweller doesn't hit this too bad, so that's okay. Magnuma can add the Baldrake. Thin out the deck a little bit. Uh, do not know what the set is, I believe. We're going to add, or rather, activate first appearance. Are we going to get Dwellered? Uh, we are going to get Ashed, not Dwellered. Probably should have run a call by in this deck. That's fine. Uh, good ass card, man. Ash is still good to this day. Don't let anybody fool you. Uh, we'll go ahead and activate Prosp here and hope we don't. Hope we didn't just play into the Imperm column, which, knowing me, we probably did. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. Yep. No, that's that's that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Um, I'm getting X blown, bro. I'm literally getting X blown. And that's lethal. I have got Springin. Chat, do me a favor real quick and tag your friends in the chat to totally explore them. GG's double GG's. Now this is an interesting deck, actually. I think Evil Eye, Gold Pro excuse me, Gold Pride is the way to go here. That's awesome. And I don't have an out. Um, all right, quick effect synchro, I agree. Oh God, oh Jesus, I'm getting fucking, oh God. Oh God, oh God. Oh, we're gonna make Barone right after, aren't we? Oh, we're making, a, oh God, uh, oh Christ, oh Jesus, oh fuck me. Okay, um, attempt to elf, I guess? That's really good. That's really good, man. Tell you what, man, hey, go ahead and do it, man. You got lethal, go ahead and do it. That's crazy. That is a cool ass play. God damn. It's in a weird position. I think you could probably improve this list a lot post Photon Hypernova by adding thrusts. I think having three triple tactic thrusts in this list would make it a lot better because then you can search out Imperm. I got nothing to add here. I got nothing to do here. Lady of Lament. Add one Orange Herald because Benton? Maybe actually. That actually wouldn't even be that bad. Uh Oh, wow. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, sure. That chum drink. No, it's this deck? What is the deck? Is this like a thing? Is this like a known thing? Okay, we're seeing chain material. Flash fusion. What the fuck? Infernoids? Uh... Okay. Sure. I did not ex- What the hell? Okay, um... Pop. Uh... Harold. Uh... Harold. What the fuck is this deck? Oh, dude, what are we doing right now? Is this Master Duel Ladder? What is fucking happening? Chemiraflasia? Overload Fusion? Wow, what the fuck do I do here? Um, okay. I guess I can bring out Makanko here, um, but it goes back to my hand. So that's not really a lot for me to do here, um, to be perfectly blunt. Okay, welcome back, extra deck cards, uh, and good to see ya! Overload motherfucking fusion.
Oh, Christ, dude. What is fucking happening right now? Okay, uh, yeah, fuck it. Is, is my Aiden Richard Summon the Ohime? Yeah, I think that'd be something I would fix, probably, in uh, retrospect. We'll probably be doing something for that, because it does make it a little bit cringe, you're right. Saber Dancer to increase attack. That's lethal? You think so? Yeah, I think that's lethal. Wow. Um, what? Excuse me, what the fuck? Uh, this is kind of a weird list. A weird opening, rather. But we can work with this. We'll terraforming here to search the field spell. We will activate first appearance here. We will search for Doom Broker. Yeah, this is kind of a weird list, uh, weird hand here. Because this is like all Libromancer here, you know? It's fine, but it's like weird, you know? Uh, we will add Geek Boy, just for the hell of it. Um, we will... We can actually go ahead and Gishki Shokan here. Uh, we can treat the two Geek Boys. I think we will. Doom Broker. And uh, believe it or not, we're actually just going to set two here. And uh, leave it to you, man. That's uh, as much as I can do with this hand, unfortunately. I don't think it'll be enough, but we'll find out. Desires. That is fine. I don't mind Desires rocking. It's not because I had a Nor Chain off. I'm fine with it, really. Uh, Ready Fusion. Sure. Though that's a um, non-effect fusion monster, right? Is it going to see the Ship of Theseus? Ship of Theseus? Are we going to see the Ship of Theseus? Oh, that's not Ship of Theseus. That's not as fun. So, okay, Man-Eating Black Shark. Crystal Shark. Oh, we're doing... Okay, I see, I see. We're doing uh, shark stuff. Okay, cool. Got it, got it. All right, uh, neat. That's a cool way to do that. All right, so we're getting a rank five out then, huh? What is the rank five we summon here? I'm sure there's like some like water shark I don't know about. Sure enough, it is. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and uh, imperm this. Funny how first-gen monsters use materials for modern cards. Yu-Gi-Oh's changed, man. Yu-Gi-Oh is, uh, is changed. Uh, another Nash Knight. We get Nash Knight. Uh, no way, homie. Called by the grave. Targeting. That is fine. Uh, that's gonna be fine. Uh, I won't be able to get Geek Boy's effect off. That's no big deal. We still get the negate there. And that's really the important thing there. I mean, I could just be talking out of my ass here. Yeah, it's why people clamor for, like, support for old cards and stuff, you know what I mean? It's why people really, like, like are flocked to, like, Blue Eyes and shit. Because you could still technically play a Blue Eyes deck, you know what I mean? Lance Alonginus, you already know, baby. I love me some Persona 2. Brick Eyes did win a Worlds after all. It's true. It's true, it did. With Obelisk, unless I'm mistaken, right? Another Flame Swordsman card this year? We better, or else I'm fucking rioting. Lance of Lund Gearsu, yes. Alright, I assume we're making Zeus here. Nope, we can't make Zeus. Due to, um, Abyss Shark. Alright, well, I lose. Um, okay. I mean, I guess we could bring you out, but it really doesn't do anything. Uh, I can hit over, or at least... I can hit over all these guys, actually. There goes Magnemite. Here comes Doom Brokerton. And there's the fucking droplet. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, yeah, why not? Why not? See, guy like me, guy like me would have waited till damage step to flex a little bit, but I respect it. I respect it nonetheless. Reminder that you can droplet during the damage step. It's really fucked up. Yeah, I got no negates here, so... Chat, press 1 to droplet during the damage step. Oh god, we have more Nashes. Remember how Maya got stabbed? I think about it every day and cry. See, guy like me is always activating droplet during the damage step. Guy like me, always activating droplet during the damage step. Always. Droplet stopped me from OJKing my 50 damage. It's a good card. I'm saying, man. Droplet's a good card. People, Droplet's not the best right now, I think. Like, in this format we're playing in. But it is, by design, a very good card. Alright, that's, that's Omega Lethal right there. Guy like me can't afford Droplet. 
Yeah, be like that, man. I got my playset early on, back when that shit was still mega expensive. It's gone down a lot, um, but yeah, it's still by no means the most affordable thing in the world. Yep, I can have music. And that is GG's to Jer Barrington, uh, fucking me up water style with the sharks in the face and shit. Dude, what the fuck is this hand, bro? All right, whatever. Pass turn. Son, that's the worst hand, bro. That's like the worst going first hand you could possibly manage. Like, literally. Oh, God, it's the trumpeter. All right, I gotta be careful with this interruptions. Oh, and this is the worst deck to have Bistrals against. This is literally the worst deck in the world to have Bistrals against. There's nothing to target with Bistrals here. What are you targeting? I imagine Giga Gloves is gonna rock off here anyway, right? So it probably doesn't even matter. It probably doesn't even matter, but I'm gonna Imp Perm here anyway. Ice Perm, Ice Perm, is it one of the OTK variants? Knowing Ice, probably. Are we actually gonna get a chance to play here? Cause I, I mean, I just, this is like, okay, nope, it's over. <laughs> nope, that's a wrap, that's a wrap. Wrap that shit up in tinfoil, cause that shit is cooking, baby. I'm gonna explode in the microwave. All right, there's Scarecrow. Oh, Jesus God. No, that's, that's wrap that up. Uh, yo, Big Ben K! It's Big Ben K! Fuck, I didn't see the Big Ben K! So horns! No! No! Why, God? Why are you so cruel to me? Why must you do this to me? Well, uh, you know, this deck uh, has some highs and it certainly has some lows. Um, we did run the Battle Drake this week because uh, I wanted to get back in my chat who all prepared folks on Hypernova stuff. It's gonna be legal in like a few days anyway, so whatever. There's some things I would change here, I'm not gonna lie. For example, it felt like the Makanko core was very, very, very fragile. The fact that Makanko returns to the hand and I had nothing to do with it afterwards, and the quick play spell I'm only running a one of, kinda sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I think the best thing to do in retrospect would have maybe to be to run another of the quick plays or possibly even another way to ritual summon the Makankos because it really felt like I wasn't doing enough with the, with the package to warrant running it and it really just felt like it was Libromancer and Bistral stuff. I think running something else here to take advantage of the Makanko core would have been the best idea there and unfortunately it really felt like Makanko just sort of showed up and left. But regardless, uh, we, we persevered. Snatch Steel is nice but it's I don't know if it's good enough to uh, base a deck around. You know, it's kind of a bummer. It's kind of a bummer. But, uh, you know, I think you could probably make something work. That being said, I think I probably would adjust the Bistral core too. I'm not sure. I think maybe some different interruptions would be good too, but I'm also not really sure because like, I feel like Imperm's a really good interruption right now. And I'm not really sure if there's other hand traps I would run here. One thing I would consider running here is possibly Triple Tactics Thrust uh, as a way to search out things like Prep or Imperm or hell, even Prosperity if you want. Um, and terraforming is basically a one card combo for this deck. We activate the uh, appearance and then we go on from there. Um, but there's a lot of things you could do here. I think maybe running a triple tactics thrust would probably be the move here in the future. So I would adjust the Makanko core somehow and I would definitely run a triple tactics thrust. I would also adjust the Bistral core somehow. I'm not really sure how though. I think three Magnemud is correct. I think maybe one Baldrake and one Druiswarm would be good. Keep the names alive. I think that'd probably be ideal here. But, uh, you know, regardless, I think it worked out okay. But I think three Magnemut is definitely correct. Uh, the extra deck was fine. It was, there's really nothing to complain about the extra deck. Maybe I would have run another Synchro, possibly another Intis. But for the most part, I think it worked out fine. Honestly, the extra deck was fine. The extra deck was fine. IP came in the clutch. We got the infield up more than one time. So that's, I consider that a win. But yeah, I think that's really the overall thing. Uh, is just the Makanko core adjusting that. So that's going to be uh, Makanko Mancer, or what I could make of it this week, guys. I uh, hope you like the deck list. I'll leave some comments down below of some edits that maybe you would make to the deck list. And if you decide to go into the uh, locals, your locals, with a deck similar to this, hit me up on Twitter at NoahJank and let me know, man. I'd love to see what you do with this list. But that is going to be it for this week's episode of VTuber versus Viewer, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, keep your game on.